Well, hello again to all my classic dirt bike fans and welcome back to my world of classic dirt bikes. Now, in this particular feature, we are going to concentrate on those fantastic British classics, the CCMs. Now, we have seven examples of Alan Clues' fantastic Clues competition machines to show you in this video. So, we're going to begin by looking at Fergus Moody's 1974 500. Now, of course, these 1974 500 CCMs are very popular race bikes for many riders across the world and uh, this is in fact is Fergus's spare bike which he races with the Scottish Classic Motorcycle Club. Now this of course is Fergus's second bike, he also races a uh, BSA in the Scottish Championship and in fact won the over 60s championship in uh, 2018. Now, of course, the original founder of CCM Motorcycles, Alan Clues, was a very successful trials and scrambles rider in his own right during the 1960s. But Alan wanted a lighter, more nimble and modern motocross bike. So when the BSA competition department went out of business, he saw his opportunity and bought all the works parts that were available. Alan Clues, of course, started off by building motocross bikes in his garage. Although having no access to the BAC works engines, Alan had to make his own extensive improvements to the standard BSA B50-500 engine. Of course, in the mid-1970s, the CCM racing team achieved respectable results in the 500cc motocross world championships with riders the likes of John Banks being placed in the top five on several occasions during that decade. Okay, this next bike is a machine from the superb Ian Ridley classic dirt bike collection. This is Ian Ridley's 1972 608cc Clues Stroka. Now, of course, this machine has been totally restored by Ian and this particular Clues Classic was one of the last bike of six ever made by the Clues factory. Now, of course, this Stroker brand name was the title that Alan gave to his new bikes after he took control of the then defunct BSA competition department. Later, of course, Alan would then change the title of his bikes to CCM or Clues Competition Machines. Now, after restoration, uh, Ian never used this bike on the track and as far as I'm aware, the bike has never ever been raced since it was restored uh, many years ago by Ian. Of course, this bike is only one of the many classics that Ian has in his collection and uh, hopefully I will feature more of Ian's superb classic dirt bikes on my YouTube channel quite soon. Now, of course, every nut, bolt, washer, spring and screw on this machine is 100% correct for the time period. And I must admit, Ian has done an absolutely superb job on this Stroker restoration. Now, of course, this bike is uh, not a race bike, uh, but a show bike. And in the past has won many awards for Ian at classic dirt bike shows up and down the country. Now there are a few riders in the UK at the moment that still race these Clues Strokers. Uh, Keith Barnes 
uh, is one name that springs to mind. Keith absolutely loves his uh, stroker machines and uh, Keith can be seen on a regular basis racing these fantastic machines at some of the big classic events in the UK during the summer period. Of course, Ian has many of these superb bikes in his dirt bike collection. Uh, he also has a 1975-500 CCM which has been uh, fully restored and looks every bit as good as this lovely little 1972 Clue Stroker. Now as you can see the finish on this particular machine is absolutely second to none and uh, like I said earlier this bike has won Ian many awards at classic bike shows even during 2018. Now these short video clips of this bike were taken at Lockerbie earlier on in the year in 2018. Ian very kindly brought the bike along to the event for me to uh, grab these little video clips. Uh, Ian had, of course had no intention of racing the bike but uh, I was very grateful to Ian for bringing the bike along and let me uh, glance my envious eyes over it. So in the future look out for more of these fantastically restored machines from the Ian Ridley Classic Dirt Bike Collection which will be coming to my YouTube channel very soon. Now we're going to take a look at uh, Irishman Adrian Lappin's lovely CCM. Although when you look at this bike at first glance you may think ah, it just looks like an ordinary very nice little CCM, although if you look closer at the side case and you can see that uh, Adrian has converted this particular CCM from a right hand gear shift to this uh, very appropriate left handed shift system. Now I'm assuming the reason that Adrian did this particular modification was because he rides two or three different makes of machines at classic events and uh, I expected he wanted the gear shift to be on the one side of all his bikes. Because in the past I have spoken to riders who ride British bikes in one class at a race meeting and then have to jump on a European or a Japanese bike in another class and uh, sometimes if you're uh, hiking on it can be uh, difficult to remember which bike you're on with regards to the shifter or the rear brake and uh, instead of shifting up a gear you end up stamping on the rear brake and uh, do yourself a mischief. So I'm assuming that that's the reason that Adrian uh, made this lovely conversion to his uh, CCM. Now of course if that's not the case why he performed this uh, special modification then I'm sure Adrian will uh, put me right and get in touch. Now of course these video clips were taken when I visited uh, Bally Sally Road in uh, Bangor in Northern Ireland in June in 20. 18, so uh, I was over there for a two-day charity scramble which was an absolutely fantastic weekend so I'm glad I popped over just to grab these pictures of Adrian's bike. Okay the next CCM machine we're going to take a look at is Scottish rider Lewis Bell's very nice uh, 1974 CCM. Now this of course is just one of the machines that Lewis races with the Scottish Classic Motorcycle Club. Uh, Lewis races this lovely CCM along with his uh, big 
500 Java. Now Lewis, of course, uh, took second place overall in the pre-75 over 300cc championship during 2018. And uh, if you haven't seen uh, Lewis in action on this particular bike, then uh, you should be getting along to some of the Scottish Classic meetings because you would be in for a real treat. But Lewis, of course, is just one of the Bell family who uh, all race at the uh, Scottish Classic and British Championship events in the UK. Uh, Lewis races, his brother Liston races, dad Mike races, a uh, BSA Gold Star, and of course uh, mum Krina is also involved in the classic and vintage motocross scene. Now of course all these CCM motorcycles are all basically the same although many riders like to put their very own individual stamp or type of modification on their own bikes as you can see Lewis has done a slight modification on the front brake torque arm but uh, it's nice to see these riders putting their personal touches to the what was essentially or is essentially still in standard trim, a fantastic motorcycle. So there we have another fine example from the Alan Clues competition machine factory. That's Lewis Bell's lovely CCM. Now our very next candidate for attention is Jonathan Bethel's very nice Clues competition machine. Now Jonathan of course a well respected and very quick rider on this particular CCM and uh, Jonathan races this bike at uh, many of the big classic and twin shock events that are uh, held in the UK throughout the year. Of course many of my older viewers may remember this number and the very famous rider that used to uh, frequent it, the very famous of course John Bethel who was an extremely quick rider, a very good commentator at classic and dirt bike events and of course he just absolutely adored anything uh, to do with uh, CCM motorcycles. Now John of course was an iconic figure in Scottish and British classic motocross racing and uh, an absolute gentleman to boot although uh, John sadly left us in uh, 2014 but it's good to see that uh, his son Jonathan is still keeping the CCM tradition alive and wearing his father's number. Okay, moving right along, next we have Stuart Roden's uh, very nice 1974 500cc uh, M. Now Stuart in fact used to race these bikes way back in the day and uh, was a good friend of the late Alan Clues and uh, Stuart has only recently came back to the classic racing scene and uh, has been racing these lovely CCMs for the past uh, two or three years with the Scottish Classic Motorcycle Racing Club. Now this of course is just one of the many machines once again that Stuart has in his collection and this particular bike has uh, taken Stuart to the 2018 pre-75 over 300cc championship uh, in this year. Stuart rode superbly throughout the year to uh, take the top prize on this very nice Clues Classic. Mm. 
As you can see, Stuart's bike is very well turned out and uh, Stuart's bikes always look immaculate when he turns up to race these machines at any uh, race event. Stuart, of course, in the past was uh, connected heavily with Formula One racing and uh, the high quality of engineering from the Formula One seems to have uh, rubbed off on Stuart and uh, as you can see these CCMs belonging to Stuart are uh, of the very highest quality. Of course if you'd like to see many of these CCMs in action on the track why not uh, pay a visit to some of the Scottish Classic Motorcycle Club's events in 2019. A full list of fixtures can be found at their website at www.classicscrambles.com Now of course you can see this bike in action on the track if you just uh, surf my uh, YouTube channel and look at any of the Scottish Classic events from 2018 and you will see Stuart in action on this bike on the racetrack. So there you have it, that's Stuart Roden's championship winning 1974 CCM. Okay, as a special treat to this particular clip, let's have a listen and see what she sounds like. Ok, finally in this uh, video clip we are going to take a look at Steve Gregson's 1974 500 CCM. Now these particular video clips were taken at the Cumberland Grand National in Penrith in June of 2018. Now my apologies for not knowing too much about this bike or about Steve himself uh, as I just grabbed these uh, few frames of video just uh, prior to uh, the racing commencing. Now as far as I'm aware this is a standard 1974-500 CCM apart from uh, the upgraded wider foot pegs on this particular model. But believe me, what you want to do is get down to some of these classic and twin shot race events and see these bikes in action on the track and you will be very impressed by how well they go and how very competitive these old BSA motors really are. I have always been an advocate of if a bike 
looks right, then it naturally will go right. And that these old CCMs certainly have the look and they certainly have the performance to match. With the right rider on board, believe me, these old BSA derived CCMs are more than a match for any modern day four stroke machine on any type of motocross track. Now of course the company's founder, the late Alan Clues, passed away in 2018, just shy of his 80th birthday. But what an absolute legacy Alan has left behind him as these iconic BSA B50 derived bikes are more popular than ever on the racetracks of the world and it's a fitting tribute to Alan to see his bike still competing at classic and twin shock race events to this day. So thank you very much for taking the time to look at this uh, video clip of some classic CCMs. Stay tuned for more classic dirt bikes coming soon. This video was brought to you in association with VMX Magazine, the world's number one publication for all your classic and vintage dirt bike motorcycles.